Four months since the migraine stopper. Yes. Uh, what's life like now uh, after using it for four months? It's pretty good. I um, just had exams uh, and usually a lot of stress was built up when I was studying, when I studied during short periods of times and very intensely. Um, and now I had two exams and I woke up with barely any headache and I used the migraine stopper in the morning, slept a little bit more and I was able to obviously keep going on my day and now I'm here and I'm, I feel good. Perfect. So normally you'd expect a migraine during that stressful exam period? Yeah, yeah. It was quite, that was my most often like unloading kind of after a big, after a stressful period of time. Yep. I'd most often get a migraine in combination with just that. Perfect. And let's talk about frequency. So how often did you use the migraine stopper before and how often are you using it now? So I used to use it about once a day at least, sometimes twice a day, depending on how I was feeling. Mm -hmm. And um, now I haven't, I used it this morning, but I hadn't used it since Sunday before. So wow. I really gotten into the balance of understanding when my body needs it, as opposed to when I can just, when I'm, when I'm okay. And it's weird settling on the idea that you're okay every day, as opposed to feeling like I'll always have that headache. Perfect. So just for people watching, you used to have them almost daily. Yeah. And now how many are you getting, uh, say, a month now? So it's got so maybe a like, month to... I mean, full bone attacks, it's down to like five, maybe? A month. Yeah. Perfect. From about 30. Yeah. So it's about one per week. And that's very easy to live with compared to Perfect. And when you do get those one per week, can you normally yeah. stop that with the migraine stopper? Mm, I can, especially now that I know how my body works and how it responds to it. So I know when to use it and Perfect. to maximize the results. And it's so much easier to control it now. It took a while. And I think everyone using it will have to get into it and learn their own body's rhythm for it. But I think once you kind of crack that code, it's so much easy, easier. <laughs> And you're on quite a few medications for migraine. So you had a preventative, which was an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. You're on sumo triptans, and you also had a nasal spray, that, which is from Europe. Yeah. Um, and we worked out you were having about 70 pills a month, with, which were migraine pills or over the counter. Yeah. Are you on any migraine medication at the moment? None at all. Perfect, so you just don't feel you need it? No. Thank you, and how many um, pills would you take on average, uh, like over the counter pills? I think probably like a couple a month, maybe once a week, depending on how that migraines kind of develop. Prodrone wise, I haven't, um, or prodrone wise, I'm good at using the migraine stopper, but the hangover side of it, sometimes if that's lingering, I think that's primarily when I take a panadol right. sometimes. Um, but it's not even a frequent use. It's, I don't think I've bought another packet of panadol for like three months. <laughs> So, oh, perfect. I don't think it's addictive. <laughs> and the application time, you told me, has decreased. So yeah. how many times did you used to do it in your, say, left ear and then right ear? And so I always started on my left ear and I used to do like maybe six or seven on my left ear. And then I do like four or five on my right ear. Mm -hmm. And now I can do like two to three on my left ear and then maybe one to two on my right ear. Perfect. So what's the total application time now? How long does it take you to turn the migraine off? It takes off? like three minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and you're not frightened to use it in public, so you've done it on, uh, you've done it on trains. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you've done it at work. Yes. Um, and you recently uh, actually kind of did your own biohack on an aeroplane. Yeah. Tell me about that. So I, I was in Bali to study for exams. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just realized, because usually the pressure of being on an aeroplane, it gets to my headache and I usually feel quite dizzy and I, I often get a headache. So as we were, during takeoff, um, I started using the migraine stopper. Uh -huh. Flight attendants looked at me a bit funny, <laughs> but that was okay. And um, I just did a normal, I think I did four maybe on my left ear, so a little bit more, mm -hmm. just because I was kind of taking it really, really slowly, and then I did like two on my right ear. And then it just decreased that feeling of pressure in, in my head, <laughs> so it decreased the headache and it felt quite easy to fly. Perfect. And then I did the same thing during landing. <laughs> so do you think you will use that as a protocol? Yeah, I think so. It's 
especially during the 22 hour flight home to Sweden. <laughs> yeah, because you're off to Sweden uh, next week, yeah? Yeah. So, what's your um, conclusion now after four months with the migraine stopper? What would you tell people? I just, I, th I believe that it works so well. And I think if you're someone who suffers from migraines, it would be ridiculous to not give it a chance because it's just, I mean, you're used to taking all of these pills and we're talking about so much about all these other ways that we want to decrease the use of pills. And if you truly want to decrease the amount of pills you're taking or the amount of pain you're having, why not give a natural option a shot kind of thing? And that was what I went in, like that was the mindset that I had. And I think that helped a lot as well. If you can't think of it as a miracle drug or anything like that, because that's not going to work. This is a much more natural way of doing it, and it's taken time, but it's still it's hormone free, it's medication free, and I feel better than I have in a long time. So I think most people would agree, and if they just kind of try and persistence is key. <laughs> Absolutely, and so. I know you're a bit of a skeptic when you started. Um, going from about 70 pills a month down to a couple, going from almost daily migraines to a couple a month now, mm -hmm. is that um, beyond what you're expecting? Definitely, definitely beyond what I was expecting. And I almost, I, I'm really glad that I was a little bit skeptical as well because I still really hoped and hoped that it would work. Uh -huh. But you never know about yourself, and I think that's but also allows you to kind of accept the really good results because you were proven wrong. <laughs> and <laughs> at least for me, like the first time when we tried it and when I was just like, oh, I can, I can see better, yes. I can hear better. Yeah, everyone thinks that's placebo at first. Um, yeah. But your response is really characteristic. They can't believe it. But uh, four months later from, you know, almost daily to a couple of yeah. month migraines um, is fantastic. So thanks for being uh, for coming in today having a chat. Don't forget to take your migraine stopper when you go to Sweden. I won't, and I recommend everyone to use it while they're on the bus. For a lot of people who do it, then it'll be easy. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Eventually, everyone does it. It's normal. Yeah, it just kind of cracks, and it's like a boom. Everyone's sitting on the bus, like with their migraine uh -huh. stopper. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Thank you.